Hey guys, this is Austin. And this is Jason. And welcome to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot Part 5. Yeah. So anyway, before we get started here, just want to let you guys know that we're pretty much getting close to the end of this game. Yeah, we have, uh, how many levels left? I don't know, but this is the final island with the rest of the levels, and we're just a set 17. Yeah, we're on like 17, I think 19 now. There's 32 levels. But yeah, we're rearing the end of this game pretty fast. So, yeah, I just thought I'd bring that to your guys' attention. And it's like uh, very soon we have something planned that we want to we wanna t tell and show you guys. So I hope you're excited for that. But without further ado, let's get this started, shall we? Yeah. All right. Heavy machinery. Okay, now from what I remember, this level can be a bit of a pain, but not really, it's not, the most, it's not that hard. You just, to be, you just gotta be careful of certain things like those, they can fall on you. And these ice things, you can actually, these ice pipes, you can touch them. Do not touch these steam red pipes, they hurt. What have I got? Yeah. You know what, I'm gonna test it. Yep, yep, we're good. It does hurt you though, but it works. And that was bad. That was a bad timing. So my bad. So far, we've lost a little bit. So. Good thing I experimented, though. Yeah. Okay. Like I said. What have I got? No, 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 no. You can perfectly walk on them. It's perfectly fine. Then, for what you see right here. It's like, saying, red, bad, good. <laughs> it's like, it's like every morality choice. Now that I think about it, that certain games have like Mass Effect. Blue, good. Red, bad. It's kind of funny, but it's like, eh, it, understandable, I guess. Oh wow, there's no goddamn checkpoint. Yeah, I'm literally at this point, beginning of the level. Yeah. Okay, cool, 
Is it a... Oh, yay. Save points! Or at least we're going to a save point. Da wow. Don't say a word. Just don't say a word. Word. I'm going... I'm not sleeping well tonight. That's all that. And it can burn the. Sh it can literally it can cause third degree burns. I never knew that. Pretty obvious. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know how hot steam really hurt you in a way. So, oh my thanks for sharing that. Now I never want to hear it again because now I'm scared for a minute. No, not really. This is here. One more and I go. I'm just gonna say it, Super Saiyan. Oh, my Levels, I think, is almost over. Maybe. Seven minutes. Hmm. Okay. okay, Cortex power. I think I remember this. There was like one level on this island that's incredibly short. I think. Is this it? Maybe. I don't know. I think it's bringing back memories, though. Oh, yeah, be very careful. That was lightning. That was lightning at the top. Those. No, they just don't, they just don't burn you. They, you can touch the pipes, but the electricity will burn you. I know. What have I got? I think this is the short level I that I mentioned. Damn it. Alright, let's do this again, shall we? It's not that hard, but it's all a matter of time. This is a backtracking path. It's like a path you can go to. It's like activate boxes that you can break. So it's that path was, you know, a path. This is the 
Damn it. But yeah, it did that. I might have to go get it again. What have I got? I can't. I can't. Well, I probably could, but I'll just go up and make sure that one Oh, he's gone. Not only is he gone, but uh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not tempting fate. See, I didn't tempt fate. No, thank you. Sailing from here, from the rest of the way. Oh, my goodness. Damn. Oh, I got you. Oh, man. Sorry about that. Slight interruption, but anyway, back to the thing. In that, I can't really tell, like, this guy right up here, like, what the fuck is that? Eh. Like, whatever, it's not really worth going at and figuring out, but still. I don't blame you, there's always. I've always ran into those kind of people. It picked a lot of things. Wow. That was BS in my opinion. Just torture form. Dude, just Yeah, thanks. Now you jinx. Now you just jinx me, asshole. I uh, just, just, it's okay, it's okay, just. I'm gonna try and reverse this jinx, come on. No. Just, just, just oh, yeah. be quiet. Go. That's over with. He did the same thing as you. Me and Crash have something in common then. Wow. Alright, generator room. Oh I guess that level actually wasn't really all that short. So, I got things wrong. Yeah, it is. I don't think they do that much, though. Oh, no, they do. Never mind. Forget what I was about to say. Careful, careful. In a way. That thing drops, just so you know. Damn it. Yeah, but, you know, there are recent games out there where it's 
still shake and throw up all on me. I mean, just from my experiences, I'm just saying I have been able to, like, go through a game really fast, and even if I've never played it before, if I see a platform shake, it's so self-explanatory. Damn it. I hate you. I'm not gonna screw up this time. I'm not gonna screw up this time. I'm not gonna screw up this time. Say that with me. I'm not right, gonna screw you up. You won't screw it up this time. I won't screw this up. I won't screw this up. I won't screw it up. It's like though. Hey, see. I just love good luck sometimes. What's so funny? It's just funny how he like wipes his forehead after that. He's just like, fuck, dude. I, I guess we, I guess, I guess Crash is more relatable than, than anyone honestly thinks of him. Yeah, most likely, I mean, seriously. I wonder, I wonder if this is how Mario what feels every time he has to rescue the princess. I wonder how he feels every time he fucking dip his ass in lava. Oh, shit. Oh, that, was, that was dumb, but whatever. Don't ask. I'll save that for the eventual sequel. I do like the level design at least. It looks it looks nice for for what for what it is. Looks like a pain in the ass. Looks like that nice. I don't mind. The, the darkness helps amplify the fact that it's in a factory setting, in my opinion. So in 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 that regard, it, I think it works. I will have to say for the guys that you oh, know, shit. made oh, this damn. game. Well, what the hell? You see that? Then I died. Yeah, I was. Yeah, not a thing. It kills you. It kills you. Dog to realize that you know you shouldn't let extra guys die, especially in a game like this. So Batman, you know, I don't know what platform it was for, but freaking, it wasn't any of the new ones, that's for sure. I'm not talking about freaking all the Arkham games, yeah, none of those. It's probably, it looked like a game, board, but I don't think it was on it. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is. There was a, every level, hey, hey, before you say anything, see that picture right there? Yeah. Remember that. Anyways, as I was saying, there was a part in the level of that Batman game where you could just constantly get extra guys, and it didn't matter. You were at a standstill. It was either you complete the game without a game over, or you just quit playing, you know? Hmm, I see. I never saw a game in that game because yeah. The boss coming up is actually pretty cool. And it actually has an interesting technique that you wouldn't expect for a game like this to have, but I'll I'll get to that when I get to that. But yeah, this part can be a bit hard because there's a lot of these enemies who are basically throwing shit at you. What have I got? Lucky me though, I can use these. See, perfectly safe, but I have to progress. I I can't seem to recall the Batman game you're talking about though. I think it's one. Of the, was it like one of the? Was it like? Did it? Was it 3D or was it like a very very old 2D? Was it on like the old school Nintendo or the SNES? It was somewhere on the road, though. It's all on the road. Alright. It's not that 
hard to get past these guys. Like, damn it! It's hard if I screw up like that. I, I blame, I guess I'm just, like, after all this time, I'm still not used to playing the game too fast. I don't know if I said that at one point, but it's pretty obvious. Yeah. And if I'm being redundant, I apologize. It's fine for you, I mean, not the viewers to at least feel. You know what, actually, in a way you turn off. I guess. Well, I'm not too far now, I'm back where I was. I have it, uh, sometimes I forget, so I can just look up the video every time. Oh, crap, the one that bounces. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, that's... Now it's good. something about me is that I don't blame you on these guys. Can be, especially if you can't perfectly tell when it's. Uh, we're back where we're, we're, we're coming. Don't worry. I think after this could be the final level, maybe for this part. I think at least one or two parts, though, Jason. Just as an estimate, I think after that, then we'll be done with this LP. Then we'll be finishing up. I think in the actually from what I can gather, the first game you can not be blamed for fucking up, but the second game for fucking up because there you can definitely tell there are moments where I just fucked up a lot. There are certain moments where I did screw up on my own, but it's like I think in the sequels, mainly two and three. You, uh, you can't blame the game for that. Oh, I didn't not see that. I was so focused on jumping. I'm just gonna get going. I'm gonna get these boxes. Okay, I'll give you credit. That monster-looking guy does actually look kind of cool. Take you on a long That's creepy. Wait, is that like a mob term or something? Where? Oh, well, I, like basically like the whole saying, you're gonna go swimming with the fishes. Yeah, I, 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 I get where you're at. Yeah, I understand. I'm not sure. I'm not too far off either, so... I'm okay then. Yes! Safe point. At least I can finish off this level knowing I made a save point and I could just stop it. me or does that lady that yeah, we have ten. at the end of those bonus rounds look like a chick you'd see in the MMA holding up a sign for the next round I would I don't blame you she's actually that chick returns in crash team racing she's the one I think holding up the whole go sign I think it's been a while since I played the game so don't quote me on that well that uh, so yeah just so you know we have ten more levels guys we're almost done after this it'll be nine All right. well from what I remember it's about actually six, technically six more levels and three more boss fights. That's uh, if you want to get technical. Phew. If you want to get technical, yeah, it's six more levels, three more boss fights. That's good. Are you 
taking on the boss right now? No, I think we're gonna cut it here. Is the, bo the boss coming up next? Yeah, the next boss is Pinstripe Porter Roo. So, just so you know, what I said, what I told you to remember that picture, yeah, that was the boss coming up. Yeah, that was pretty obvious. But alright, I... But yeah, anyway guys, I wanna... Anyway, we're gonna end it here, guys. So, thank you for watching part 5 of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. We'll see you for part 6. Hopefully, maybe in part 6 we're gonna finish it. If not, eh, oh well. Anyway.